Memorial Day celebrations have been canceled at national cemeteries all over the country because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And in true West Michigan fashion, volunteers took it upon themselves to make sure our fallen heroes are still being honored. News 8's John Dommel gives us a look at the volunteer-driven tribute. Perfect. We personally brought out 24,000 flags today to place on veterans' graves. I got so one more whole box in here. We have a couple other groups that have nine to 14,000 flags themselves. After the formal ceremony was canceled, volunteers made up for it, with upwards of $7,000 being raised by local truck clubs to make it happen. During this time, it's really cool with um, the restrictions and everything to see the community come together and put flags down, come together for a greater good. Strangers, just looking to honor our past, spent all morning and afternoon placing flags on more than 38,000 veterans' grave markers. As a fellow service member, these are my brothers and sisters. Whether they died in action or they just died living their normal life, we have something in common to where we've served our country to for us to have the freedoms that we have today. And those doing the placing came from all age groups. It gives me a proud feeling to know that there's enough people that really care that they would come out and do this because well, an awful lot of people have just kind of forgotten what, what this means, you know, the importance of, of honoring our soldiers that have given their lives for their country. The organizers of the effort have one more ask and are hoping volunteers can return Wednesday morning to retrieve the flags so that the cemetery can be properly landscaped. But even though all the flags will have to be packed up, it's a tradition that carries much more weight than a single day. It's very important to the people of the world to know that we honor those people even though they're gone. Reporting at Fort Custer National Cemetery, John Dommel, News 8.